Do you think we'll ever get a Sonic Maker? No. I think a Sonic the Hedgehog level creator is something that's been requested an awful lot. I don't know if it's been requested as much as Sonic Adventure 3, but I think it's something that's well overdue now. I can just picture myself snuggling up in my bed on a Friday night, booting up my Nintendo Switch, and getting pissy because some cheeky bastard spammed those twats from Metropolis Zone all across the stage. There's tons of creative gimmicks and objects from the games, like the zip lines, the spinning top, the bouncy gunk and chemical plant, and if you give that to a person who has way too much time on their hands, I think they can make some pretty nifty stuff. But what if I told you there's been a multitude of Sonic the Hedgehog level creators, and even an official one? Bonkers, I know. I thought it might be fun to check out some of these level creators over the years, to try and quench the thirst for a Sonic maker, and evaluate whether or not it would actually be a good idea for Sega to commission one. I don't often blow the trumpet of Sonic fan games, because they are mostly shit, overhyped, or just not my cup of tea. And I wouldn't want to risk being sucked into the Sonic fan mindset of Sega hire this man, but regrettably I'm going to have to for the sake of detailing all the cool features there are in these. Don't worry, after this I'll wash my mouth out with soap. The first place to start is debug mode I guess. Going with debug mode to be the first thing to go over is a little bit of a cop out, but you know it's certainly worth mentioning. Besides, I'm sure someone has made something worthwhile in debug mode. Never mind. Before we take a look at some proper level creators, I just wanted to bring up these. Some honourable mentions, if you will. Son ED, Son Level, Ezreal Sonic Editor, Sleep, and Chaos are all level editors that allow you to modify classic Sonic stages, but while useful in their own right, you're unable to fully create a stage from scratch, so they aren't much use to us here. Another one of these that falls into a similar category is Sonic Window Zone, where you can muck around with Sonic on your desktop. There is a way to place rings in that, but I don't know how. It's pretty fun for a little bit, but then you move on with your life. Let's move on to the first real and well-documented Sonic level creator. Hey guys, it's me. Sonic the Hedgehog. From my new app on the App Store. Sonic DIY. It's a free download, so I hope you, you check it out, and, and I hope... Jokes aside, this is Sonic DIY, which released in 2004, made by a lad named Christopher Lowe for a Game of the Week competition on an old site called The Daily Click. And despite its age, it's really not that bad, and in a lot of ways was ahead of its time. This was made as sort of a successor to his previous game, Sonic Origin. What the f***? I don't know, it looks kind of suspect. Unfortunately, it seems Chris scrapped the game, citing the fact that no one was using the level editor. Bless him. If only he knew how much of a demand there would be for something like this now. For years, this was lost in obscurity, as the download link on Chris's page no longer worked, and no one knew where else to find it. Fortunately, a bloke named B-Man from the Sonic Stadium publicised the game half of Sonic DIY in 2019. But as the level editor came in a separate executable file, the level editor was still lost. It was only until 2020 when another guy called Renzo Veglia was able to find the download link containing the full game on Clicktopia. The game boasts many features that were pretty impressive for its time, including the ability to add any audio file to feature as stage music via the settings.ini file. And while, yes, it is sinful to remove the default painfully compressed Palm Tree Panic MP3, I'd much rather listen to the smooth and buttery voice of conservative icon Matt Walsh. Today on the Matt Walsh Show, Disney ramps up its efforts to trans our children with a new children's show featuring an appearance by a menstruating man. Not only could you add any audio file to play in the background, but there was also a f***ing two-player online mode. I have no idea how it works, and it might be complete shit, but I'm flabbergasted that someone was able to do that in a 2004 fan game. Onto the editor itself, and even by today's standards, it's still quite intuitive. Everything you want is here, springs, rings, monitors, and a wide variety of badniks. The grid snap is small enough so you can make tiny delicate placements, but it's not non-existent so making those placements feels like a hassle. The editor isn't chunk based, like in the editors I'll show you later. You can just get whatever object you want and place it anywhere, which is the method I much prefer as it restricts you way less. The sheer amount of customization for 2004 is insane. Emerald Hill, Marble Garden and Mushroom Hill have all been incorporated here, allowing you to mix and match tiles and obstacles 
from all three zones together. There was no inbuilt way to share these levels, you had to get a friend to send it to you, then unzip the folder you know. And the gameplay itself leaves a little bit to be desired as the physics can be a bit wonky, but you know it's 2004 I don't give a sh**. Overall this is a bloody good first attempt at a Sonic level creator, hopefully the next ones can only improve on this foundation. This lad also mentions this lightning and Budles guy that I've made previous Sonic level creators, but you'll be sorely mistaken if you think I'm wasting any time trying to dig that sh** out of the depths of the internet. In 2009, the Play Sega website released Sonic Level Creator, making this the first and only official Sonic Level Creator. It was developed by Mediatonic, who were the same lads who made Fall Guys weirdly enough. Anyone could play the levels, but if you wanted to use the Level Creator, you had to be a Play Sega VIP member. Looking at the editor, it appears to be quite well organised and allowed you to test your levels on the fly, copy and paste titles, and it incorporates an undo button meaning it would probably be more of a smoother experience making a stage in here rather than in Sonic DIY. The editor only had one level theme, but I don't really care because I really like the aesthetic of it. I'd love to see this in an official game somehow. However, the game was buggy and the physics were complete shit. The game also had a unique soundtrack, but it sounds like shit, so I won't play it. Oh no, wait. Or play one of the songs in the outro, so stick around for a treat at the end. Users gain play Sega rings once you've played a level, or when someone else plays your level. Players have the ability to rate a stage from 1 star to 5 stars, which I have an inkling they copied off Little Big Planet. Unfortunately, as the play Sega website shut down in 2013, not much else is known about it. It's kind of sad how these things have to shut down, as now there's no way to ever experience this interesting part of Sonic's history. A user by the name of Lappa got inspired by the Play Sega level creator, so he decided to make his own Sonic Maker, entitled Sonic Maker, in 2010, and was alright. You could change the background colour, which was pretty cool I suppose, but the editor was a bit restrictive as there was no springs and only motor bugs as enemies. The UI was set out well though, so it was definitely a breeze to make a stage, but I wouldn't really be using this a lot just because of how basic the features were. For some reason the game also didn't let me load a level to edit, so if I wanted to build a level I had to know I was finished, as I couldn't edit it again. And also the game itself just ran like unbuttered toast for me, but I think that might be more to do with the fact that the game just doesn't work very well on the newest operating systems. But I'll leave a download link in the description for this game and all other games featured in this video so you can try them for yourself and bully me because my PC can't run a 2010 Sonic fan game. Nibbles was tired that day alright. The version I was using was version 2 but there was a third version that wasn't released to the public. It included the ability to test your level on the fly and had way more stuff like checkpoints and springs. You could even make a spring yard style stage instead of a green hill one. Lapper cancelled the project, but that wasn't him done with Sonic Level Creators. Next up is Sonic Level Creator. Again, this one was created by Neon Cream in 2015, and it's fine. Interestingly, this random fan game includes Splats, the scrapped Sonic 1 badnik before he re-emerged in Sonic Mania. You can also place these stickers and letters, that's kinda cool I guess. But the restrictions of this editor just kills it. The grid snap is just appalling, it makes decorating a chore, as none of the objects go in line with the surfaces, and with how limiting the tile sets are, it becomes a real task to match the terrain seamlessly, as there's no way to turn off the grid snap and move tiles freely. There's also no way to flip the tiles, so there is no way to get grass slopes that go upwards. But when you'd want a grid snap for something like placing rings in a row, you have to delicately place them manually. The only real positives are that the physics are not sh**. I like how the tiles bend together like in Mario Maker, and using the mouse's scroll wheel to select an object is way more intuitive than having to spam left click. Let's move on because I think you get the picture, and besides, he said that he knows that the program needs more work, so I'll let them crack on with it, oh it's canned. Roblox. I don't play Roblox that much because I'm not a fucking infant. I thought Sonic Speed Simulator was kinda cool for a bit, but I don't really care about it. If you're looking for your Sonic Roblox fix and are bored of Sonic Speed Simulator, I'd recommend Sonic Classic Simulator. Just looking at the UI, this could probably pass as official, 
you have so many things to customise, like the title card, which speed shoot jingle you want, or you can even add auto scrolling if you don't understand the fundamentals of a Sonic game. There's a vast array of music to choose from, there's a bunch of playable characters, it's stellar. And the objects they added great ideas, like gates that block certain characters off, and adding water. The physics are remarkably close to a classic Sonic game, and to top it all off, there's multiplayer. Absolutely smashing. Luckily for me, there's still stuff to shit on. The editor, while it looks nice, is organised poorly. There's just tons and tons of different terrain laid out in a massive list, which makes it a pain in the ass to try and locate the terrain you need. It also does that shit with a grid snap where I can't move the tiles freely, and I can't even place two bits of terrain in the same chunk. So yeah, this editor's pretty good, and probably the best one if you want a Sonic level maker, just for the options available. That's it. We've gone over all the released Sonic level makers. Wicked. But for the sake of documenting every Sonic level creator in one video, and just because it looks bloody cool, let's talk about Sonic Studio. Nappa, the cheeky rascal's back at it again, and he's gone above and beyond with this project. The game aligns more with Super Mario Maker than anything else from today's video, with all these unique object interactions that you'd never see in the original games. Just for us, he and his pals have made everything from scratch, such as the sprites, the music, and it even has its own unique artwork. Gone is the way of stamping down set terrain to build your level. Instead, you'll be able to edit the curvature of any surface, allowing you to create structures never before seen in a Sonic game. He's done this by abandoning the use of pixels to instead adopt the use of polygons, as it allows for players to express their ideas far more. The game's not got a release date yet, but f*** it, it already looks like the best Sonic fan game. I'm eagerly anticipating for its release, and I can't wait to talk about it more. Of course people want to see a Sonic maker, but I think Sonic Team, or whoever else is making one, would have a massive job on their hands. When you make a level in Mario Maker, or at least a traditional Mario level, you go... Jobs are good un. But with Sonic, it's more than that. With Sonic, the terrain has to be acclimatised to Sonic's movement, with slopes in the works. Whereas with Mario, a straight line is all you really need to take advantage of Mario in 2D. Imagine how boring a Sonic stage would be if it was just a straight line. No, not just you, bring in your f***ing friends. Or think about just how expansive a Sonic stage has to be. If you look at any 2D Mario stage, they're relatively short, but if you look at a Sonic stage, it's like, whoa, whoosh. To make a Sonic stage, it takes way more time and effort. You'd spend days meticulously crafting a Sonic stage, only for you to blast through it in 30 seconds. And yeah, of course, a lot of official stages are just 30 seconds. But I know a lot of people would really want to push the editor to its limits and create stages that go on for much longer. This would mean that an actual good stage built by someone would be few and far between, as the fact is, it's just way more difficult making a Sonic stage. This isn't really a problem for a fan game, because only nerds download fan games and they know what they're doing, but if there was an official Sonic maker, the vast majority of Sonic levels would be about as entertaining as watching an old woman play checkers with a goldfish. And while I disapprove of using the chunks method to create stages, I can see why it was done as it allows for levels to look tidier and more authentic if you know what I mean. But I don't really care, because we're never going to get an official Sonic Maker. So the only question that remains is which bar of soap shall I use to clean my mouth out?